Hey love, so this is going to be the most informal hair video that I have ever done. And it's simply because I'm kind of like over it. And if you see some of the video missing or it just so happens to start off in a weird place, that's because I'm really, really not happy with the quality of hair that I received. Now, a lot of people think that YouTube gurus always get like the best products, we get the best hair. And then when items are sent out to customers, it's like shenanigans, garbage, what have you. That is not the case because we too as YouTubers, and I'm not going to call myself a guru, but as a YouTuber, we do get products that are really not worthy so as you guys know this is a video for hair and this is from posh life hair me april i am all for helping any type of business especially if it's black owned my young divas my young sisters what have you however i just feel like it's um kind of like not necessary to send me stuff that's not necessary but on top of that I don't really like to waste my time. I feel like my time is really, really valuable. Though, when I say my time is really, really valuable, I don't mean like valuable, that more valuable than others. But I just feel like uh, there's a little bit of time in a day. There's only 24 hours in a day. And so I kind of use a lot of them up. Out of 24 hours, I'm using like, let's say 18. I really barely, rarely get any sleep. So I'll probably go to sleep like 3 o'clock in the morning and I wake up at like 7.30. So I'm using like all my freaking hours in a day because I'm on that grind. You know what I'm saying? I have to take care of my household and my kids. But either way, I don't really like my time being wasted. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, Posh Life Hair contacted me. It is a young business, meaning it is a young woman's business. It is a black owned business. And I was really help, happy to help her out and get their business going or what have you because it's all about life lessons. We all try to help one another, especially if we are black or as women of minorities, whatever the case may be, I really feel like it's really important to help one another out. You don't always have to gain something from it, but just to help somebody out. So. With that being said, they did send me that deep wave hair, and I did receive four bundles of deep wave hair and a closure, two 22 inches, a 20, a 18, and a 16 inch closure. So when I showed in the video, I only showed the closure and the actual one bundle, which I did say in the video that the closure looked a little bit darker than the hair, but whatever, etc., etc. So let's just get on to me making the wig. As I was sitting there a few nights ago, and I was on the phone with my girl Shay, I was talking to her, and I said, "Well, I'm going to make this wig. I'm making this wig right now." took me like three hours to make this wig not a lot of time but it was part of my time now the first two bundles were 22 inches like I said and then those went on just as smooth as pie meaning the hair textures matched it was a little bit rough and dry but you know what that's something that conditioner can always totally fix okay so anyway as I get onto bundle three I'm on my phone and I'm basically just like you know I'm on my phone and I'm just scrolling checking my messages and I get a message from Posh Life Hair, the owner, the young lady who contacted me. She's asking me, hey, April, did you get your package yet? And I said, hey, girl, I'm sitting here right now making the wig. So let me tell you, the 20-inch bundle of hair is way off on color, and I only know that because I'm sewing it on right now. Let me send you a picture. Hold on. So I sent her a picture of the 20-inch bundle, and I'm not really sure if you guys can see that on camera, but if you guys can, oh, focus, focus. Here we go. If you can see that, those colors are way, way off, right? Yes, they're like totally way off. So in return, what she tells me is, I notice, um, um, I notice our bundles come in natural shades. Basically, she was like, I can add a rinse to it. Am I in focus? Like, can I just focus? Okay. There we go. So basically she said, I can, I can add a rinse to it. Their bundles come in different shades. And she's going to have to talk with her staff about that because et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here's my thing. Okay, I wasn't too keen on putting a rinse in the hair because I don't do that. And I don't really feel like I should have to do that. And why should I go out and spend my money on your product to correct your problem? That's just not my thing. I don't do that. But I said, you know what? I'm just going to help her out. I'm going to do that. Okay? I'm going to do that. Anyway, so I get to the fourth bundle of hair. Now, mind you, as you can see right here, and I hope you guys can see that on camera, the third bundle, like I said, the 20 is more brown, and the other one is kind of like a 1B. So this is like a, a number three and a 1B. Okay, I'm like, okay, that's not too bad. I mean, it'll look like some type of highlight, whatever, you know. We can fix this. We can work around this. Fourth bundle, which is 18-inch. I take that out. This is like a different color brown. And this ain't even deep wave. This hair is loose wavy. So I have two deep wavies and I got a loose wave. 
And then when I get to the closure, well, I don't really know what you want to call the closure. The texture is way different. So I have four different textures going here on this wig. I have the two bundles, um, a 22-inch, which is one texture. The 20-inch bundle, which is another texture and color. The 18-inch, which is a different color and texture. And the closure. So I have four different textures going on on one freaking unit. Like, are you serious right now? So I felt like this was a huge waste of my time, okay? It was such a huge waste of my time that I didn't even bother to sew in combs in this unit because I didn't feel like I needed to waste my combs on something that I would never wear, okay? Now, yes, this is a, it's an easy fix. You can easily fix this, but in my opinion, if I'm being sent this type of hair and these issues, I can only imagine what uh, customers would receive. Now, like she stated, she would talk to her staff. Honestly, I really don't feel like there's any staff. I feel like the hair that you purchased or sent me was from Ally Express just because of the bundles, the way it was wrapped, and that it came in a priority mail envelope stuffed into envelope. It was really no hard work put into it. And if that's the case, I can do that. I can go out and buy some bundles of hair and do the same thing, but put a little work into it. And then I might have overlooked the fact that I have four different type of textures going on for one wig. And maybe it was my fault that I didn't check prior to making but I kind of like trusted you because who would send out four different textures so to me it's like you got the closure from one vendor and then you got the other bundles from another vendor and another vendor and that's what happened yeah don't blame it on your staff okay so I'm not here to bash anybody but I'm just here to let everybody be aware that there are so many different hair companies out there that are popping up on the scene and they all say that they have quality hair. I mean why wouldn't they? Who would want to say I have bullshit hair and it's really not worth buying but I'm going to sell it to you anyway and I want you to buy it. Nobody's going to do that. Of course everybody's going to say they have the best hair. And I'm kind of really tired and over the whole thing where people say YouTube gurus get the best quality shut. Shit. Because we don't. Look at this. Like I mean the hair textures the quality of the hair is pretty meaning it's not bad hair but I really don't expect to get all different type of textures and colors that's not acceptable to me so you know what I mean I got a closure that's going on really curly here I got a loose wave kind of like and then I got some other clothes colors right here which is really not acceptable to me like that um and of course you can put a rinse in this and of course you can flat iron it straight and then do your own curl to it because the hair is silky. That's not a problem. But I don't really feel like I need to do that. I don't really feel like I need to doctor up your hair. And if I would have purchased it, there would have been no doctoring up. I would have actually been really pissed off and I would have requested my money back. So on that note, I really don't think this is posh life. What, what the heck is posh life anyway? Like, am I living a posh life? I, I mean, I, I need to know. I got some packages over there that like living a posh life, like, Somebody please explain to me what posh life is. Like, is that like when you drive around like in a Rolls Royce or a Bentley or something that's not a Chevy car like mine? Um. Yeah, what is, what the freak is posh life? <sighs> Let me Google that real quick. I really want to know. Um. What is posh life? Okay, so, hmm, there really isn't, is there a Wikipedia for a posh life? Um, what, what is the meaning of posh life? Oh, here it goes. Urban Dictionary. The word means rich, aristocratic, wealthy, loaded, fancy, toff, toffee, nosed, upper crust, well-off, or well-to-do. Hmm. Well. I'm not really feeling too well-off, well-to-do. Upper crust, bougie, nosed, or wealthy with his hair at all. However, posh life, work on your hair, and maybe we can do this again. And on that note, all the information will be posted for you girls down below. And like I said, the hair quality is not that bad. It's, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's more or less like a, say, 7.5. The quality of the hair, 8, you know what I'm saying? But the overall experience was like a negative 5. Like, really, like, I mean, and it's wearable. It is wearable. You can actually wear this, but, um, you know what I'm saying? You got a little bit of different curl pattern, but you can always fix that. It's not that bad, but I don't think it's acceptable for me to say, yeah, I really enjoyed this hair. It was really great. I love it. Yeah. Bye.